I'm Barry Pearson, PSR engineer in Austin, Texas, and this video will demonstrate the Poly, uh, Polycom Studio USB soundbar device being upgraded via uh, RPRM, in this case, version 10.9. To do so, we'll want to configure our companion app, device settings, uh, for the Polycom Studio to point to our provisioning server. We want to uh, enable it uh, manually. We'll go ahead and put in our information here. Okay, with our provisioning server configuration information entered, we'll see here that's the server IP address uh, forward slash UC service and then username and a password. Now let's take a look at the RPRM. Under endpoints, uh, UC management and UC management settings, we will see that we have a PLCM uh, username here. Uh, so that's why we configured it as the username. This is the default username and a password that we may or uh, have configured here and uh, for us to use. So we'll go ahead and hit save. Configuration saved successfully. So with it online and its uh, configuration uh, pointing to your resource manager, you'll see that it does appear in your endpoint and monitor list as seen here. The next step is to make sure that the software version is loaded to the RPRM. So from here, we'll go to our endpoints. Uh, we'll go to UC management. And then we'll go to the upload software updates. And what we'd want to do is we want to select our endpoint type for Polycom Studio. What is our more options here? System alerts for endpoints and software. Okay, well, we want to do the plus sign. So the software upgrade file, we want to browse for our GA version, and we'll give this a A description there, I put spaces, not sure if that's a taboo uh, or not, uh, but we'll go ahead and leave it. And we want to select create new configuration profile based on software version. And uh, let's see, do we want, uh, yeah, that's, that's right, just hit OK. And at this point, we're uploading the file. OK, now that we have the file loaded, we'll see for Polycom Studio, we have this file name and the version and our short description and uploaded by whom uh, uh, ready for use. Now to apply that, we want to go to the endpoint view, uh, the UC management and go to profiles deployment. So in here, we will go ahead and select our endpoint uh, models and scroll down for our Polycom Studio. We want to apply a configuration profile. Go ahead and type in our studio. This is our version. Click Add and Save. And likewise, we can go to the endpoints list, uh, find our device, edit it, and configuration profile, we can associate the file that we just uploaded and click add and save. Now, during its normal course uh, uh, of doing the uh, upgrade policies, uh, uh, the device itself should now actually be upgraded to the latest version. 
Let's see if we can uh, force that along. So to add to our endpoint models uh, for Polycom Studio, uh, we need to uh, let's take a look at the Studio. There's a couple uh, provisioning updates. Uh, you've got one that you can do provisioning Studio upgrade uh, interval daily or and or hourly. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select hourly and add it to our base profile and hit save. Uh, so here we now have a compiled list of what we're doing on our studio. Back on our endpoint, we can look at it there as well. Click edit, check our configuration profile, Let's type in studio. Click Add, and Save. So with this uh, connected to our RPRM server, we expect it here within an hour, uh, our codec should be updated, uh, providing it's available, and we should be running the latest software version. And as we see here, I know we're disconnected from the network, but the software version is uh, currently at the latest version. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.